Let me now turn to Jean-Pierre Clamadieu under the heading of French Business Climate Pledge. Um, I would like to invite him as the Chief Executive Officer of uh, Solvay Belgium to please take the floor. Thank you. Thank you very much, Harold. Uh, yes, we felt that a bit of a French flavor or French accent would be uh, useful in this meeting in, uh, in Paris. Uh, in fact, the French business community a year ago started to mobilize to prepare for this uh, conference, and we decided to come up with uh, a very clear and simple pledge. In fact, we've grouped 39 companies, which uh, French, which represent global leaders in their, uh, uh, in their areas of activities, very diverse from uh, energy to uh, banks, from uh, transportation to telecommunication through, uh, through chemicals. Altogether, we represent 1.2 trillion euros of revenues, 4.4 million jobs, and big names, which are, by the way, represented by their CEO in this room, L'Oréal, Suez, Total, EDF, Schneider, NG. Uh, and we came up with a pledge to spend, uh, in the next five years, between 2016 and 2020, 170 billion euros of investment and financing on low carbon technologies, 45 billion euros in R&D uh, and industrial project, 80 billion of financing, 15 billion in new nuclear capacities, which are a very important element of the French uh, uh, climate policies, and 30 billion euros in natural gas, which is an energy transition solutions. Our message to the governments is very, assembled here is very simple. By 2020, we will have spent this money, and by the way, the Paris Agreement will uh, start in 2020. Give us the messages, give us the signals that indeed we need to continue in this direction. We are already committed, we are already moving. We want to make sure that this is indeed the direction and that the whole planet is willing to go there. And if I may put a second message there, Climb, uh, carbon pricing, I'm still surprised to see how difficult it is to secure carbon pricing into the agreement. I had a lot of discussion in the past few days, which shows that it's, we are not sure it will be there yet. It's a very important tool for business. And maybe just a word on Solvay. Solvay is a chemical company. We know that we are part of a problem. We are a significant carbon emitters, and we have taken the commitment to reduce our carbon emission in the next 10 years by 40%. We know also that we are part of the solutions. And we are continuing to invest very much to bring to our customers the low carbon technologies that they mean. And one of the key areas of actuation for us is lightweighting materials. We are developing the specialty polymers, the composite, which will allow us airplanes today, cars tomorrow, uh, to emit less CO2. And this is really our commitment to be part of this solution. And by the way, the best showcase of our technology sits right behind us with Bertrand Picard and André Borschberg, the Solar Impulse pilot. We were the proud first sponsor of Solar Impulse, and we can really see our technologies at work in this plane. Thank you, Bertrand and André. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, to Jean-Pierre Clamadieu. You have just um, foreshadowed two things that I um, was going to offer you, so thank you very much, but also for the commitments you have brought. One, let me thank you, first of all, for this very efficient um, tour de table. And I think if um, you were in charge of the negotiations, we would probably have wrapped up the business by today. So uh, I congratulate you on having made such substantive commitments and announcements that I hope the world will register out there. Because as both the Secretary General and State Secretary Kerry said, it is the signal from Paris that will be the real transmission belt of this two weeks here. I also wanted to recognize, but you have done it already, the presence of, um, alongside all the captains of industry and NGOs here, two pilots. And that was going to be my opening line, but we have already introduced them. Um, they are, in many respects, I think, the kind of imagination and courage that we are all called upon to bring to this. And I'm also very glad that um, yesterday evening we were able, alongside many others, to welcome um, Bertrand Picard as a UNEP Goodwill Ambassador, and together with his Siamese twin, Andre Boschberg, they will once again, I think, fascinate us next year when they take off from Hawaii for the final leg of their flight across the world. So thank you very much for being here.